Right, a, another dinosaur. I think we'll, this time we'll have some sort of herbivore. Now I'm not sure, is this a brachiosaur? Here's his tail coming round. Have very long tails to counterbalance their enormously long necks and very tiny heads. Right now, I've drawn these construction lines in a very light way so that it doesn't matter if I make a mistake. They have very long legs, a bit like elephant legs. And I think the, sometimes they might have gone through swamplands or something, I don't know. Right, here we go. It's time to draw in a darker way because those are the construction lines. They have very small heads, so maybe they had very small brains. I'm going to try and make this a lovely, long, smooth line. That was quite accurate, really. Right. I'm quite pleased with that dinosaur. I think it's quite sweet. Although that foot's a bit weird. It's like he's got a sock on. Right. So, because I've done lots of smudging, I'm going to do a lot more with my finger. I wonder if you'll all start drawing in charcoal when you've seen these, these films. If you do, you must make sure that you use hairspray afterwards. And I'm also being careful not to rest my hand on the, on the picture, because if I do, I know that it's all going to come off all over my fingers and all over my hands. Look at my hands already. But I don't really like mine the mess. Right, I'm going to smudge those stripes in a bit. Those in there, so he could be hiding in amongst the trees or some long reeds or something like that, like a bit like a zebra that's camouflaged. Right, I think I'll put some long sort of reeds in around him that he could hide in from a T Rex. Maybe he's eating something, or maybe he's got a smile. And maybe he's even going wading through some water. If you put circles around the legs, it can look a bit like ripples look. There we are, Mrs. Talbot. Less than three minutes. <laughs>